Hey guys, it's your commissioner. It's uh, the Week 15 Bucky of the Week for the 2015 World Fantasy Football League season. And like my hat. Yep. There we go. It's Christmas week. It's the 23rd of December right now, and uh, we're picking the Week 15 Bucky. So let's get right to it. We got we got five guys, all of them. You can see their backs right there. But let's just get right to it, okay? Uh, Luke, Bucky nomination for this week. Uh, you finished in last place. I know you were honest a couple weeks ago, but. Uh, Last place. Ouch. Joel, Luke was honest a couple weeks ago, and what did you do? You beat him and, and put him into last place. So, And you're also holding the Bucky right there. So a Bucky nomination for you, too. Mike Sherry, it's just kind of tradition this whole year because your team has, well, quite honestly, sucked. But yet you still finished in 10th place overall. How you managed to do that is beyond me. However, you're going to get a Bucky nomination this week. Eric Berg. Eric, you did not have the Christmas spirit this week as you were a bully and took it out on Paul, um, what, 95 to, uh, let me see here, 95 to 47. Ouch. You doubled up on Paulie and uh, bully. You know what we say about bullies? No, I really don't know. What do we say about bullies? Anyhow, Chad Van Dyke. Chad. You had Emmanuel Sanders sitting on the bench, 21 points. You had Larry Fitzgerald started, 0 points. You lost to Martin by 9 points. Do the math. That's why you're getting a Bucky nomination this week. So, of the five, I mean, I could give it to anybody. I got all the people over here, you know. Hell, Dawson for beating me. He gets a Bucky nomination. Um... Me, for having a great team and sucking in the playoffs. Paul, for having a name that sounds like the male genitalia. You get a nomination. You know, I could go on and on and on and on. Steve, for, for playing that one shitty song at TCF Bank Stadium. I can't remember the name, but I don't even know. You, you play great music, so, okay, you're going for the champion. You're not going to get one. Wickland, you're the probably sharpest dressed person in these pictures, apart from Eric, but Eric's a bully. So you're going to get it. No, I'm not going to give you one. Greg Blodgett, well, you're also sharp dressed, but your head looks ginormous in this photo. So, yeah, I won't give you one. Martin, Cool Hand Luke, Greg Coleman's Dark Horse. I almost said Black Horse, but that would have been odd. Dark Horse, people are picking you. Martin. You better win it next week, otherwise it could get the final week 16 Bucky. I don't know. Anyhow, out of all of these people, who is going to get the Bucky for week 15? Right here, Chad Van Dyke. Chad, simply because uh, 21 points sitting on the bench and Larry Fitzgerald starting got zero and you could have gone to the championship game and played Steve for the championship, but no, you're not. You're going to be playing Greg for the third place game. Gentlemen, have a very Merry Christmas, unless you're Jewish, in which case Hanukkah is over with, and uh, go back to work then on Friday. Um, Kwanzaa starts soon, so everybody, if you've got your secret Kwanzaa uh, person, you know, make sure that you get your gifts out. It's also Boxing Day in England, so um, I'm not really sure what they do on Boxing Day, but maybe package up some stuff into some different size boxes. And I remember on MASH, they did this thing where they switched people, like... Uh, I think Klinger took over for Colonel Potter, and um, if I remember, Major Winchester, I think, was the chef, and it, in Sarah, uh, hilarity ensued on that one. So, uh, but gentlemen, have a great, great Christmas. Uh, I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I'm thankful that we have a league like we do, and uh, I'm going to end this with some singing. Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Bye.